Hello children, in quadratic equation, we are solving the word problems, application part it is. One class is already over, we have discussed a lot in that, how do we read, understand, analyze and frame the equation. You can quickly revise it, check the link in the description. Now next question you see, a two digit positive number is such that the product of its digits is 6. If 9 is added to the number, the digits interchange their places. Find the number. So here, when you read, what do you understand? That we are talking about a 2 digit positive number. Okay. One condition given is what? The product of its digit is 6. First part. And second part is if 9 is added to the number, the digits interchange their places. This is the second condition. So first of all, your assumption of the two digit number is important. We need to assume the two digits properly. So let the digit in. When you are assuming, you have to take care of the places as we are talking about a two digit number. So if you assume the digit in tens place as x and units place as y. Okay. What will be the number? The number will be 10x. Why 10x? Because it is x is the digit in tens place. And you know that the place value of that will be what? 10 multiplied by x. Plus the digit in units place y. y will be multiplied by 1. So what is our two digit number? 10x plus y. Now when the, in the second condition it is mentioned that the digits get interchanged. So let us also frame the number obtained by interchanging the digits. Our assumption is units place is y, tens place is x, so the number is 10x plus y. What will be the number obtained by interchanging the digits? It will be 10y plus x. I hope this part is clear to you. It is important to understand. Now, what is the first condition giving us here? According to the first condition, the product of digits is 6. Product of digits is 6. What do you understand? x into y is equal to 6. So from this you can either find the value of x in terms of y or y in terms of x. Suppose I want to know the value of y. y will be what? 6 upon x. Keep it in your mind. First condition. Okay. Secondly, what is the second condition? That when 9 is added to the number, the digits get the digits interchange their places. So what is our number? 10x plus y is the number. What are we doing? Adding 9 to it. As a result, what happened? Dig digits get interchanged. So what is the number becoming here? 10y plus x. This is exactly from the second condition. So first let us simplify this. 10x plus y plus 9 shift 10y minus 10y shift x minus x right hand side 0. Again you can simplify it. Simplify 10x minus x 9x plus y minus 10y minus 9y plus 9 equals 0. When you divide this equation by 9 throughout the equation so obtained will be x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now we need to substitute the value of y. We will replace y here. Now we want the equation in one variable. So what we have found from equation 1 y is equal to uh, 6 upon x. So x y is 6 upon x plus 1 equal to 0. This gives you taking the LCM x into x x square minus 6 plus 1 into x x whole upon x equal to 0. So we have obtained an equation here. We will write it into the standard form x square plus x minus 6 x taken to the RHS multiplying to 0 gives you 0. Right? Now, 
we need to simplify this equation okay solve it so what is the product here product is minus 6 what is the sum of different difference here difference is 1 so what are the two numbers product is 6 difference is 1 they are 3 and 2 positive 3 and negative 2 are the numbers 3 into minus 2 minus 6 3 minus 2 is 1 directly can we write the factors yes so x plus 3 bracket x minus 2 equal to 0 this using zero product rule it gives you x plus 3 is 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 this gives you x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to 2 now recall that what we have assumed x is x is a digit in a number so digits are not negative so we cannot take x is equal to minus 3 okay reason you can write x is a digit therefore x is equal to 2 if you have found x is equal to 2 you can find y also y is what 6 upon x that is 6 upon 2 that is 3 so we go to our answer now answer is what find the two digit number so the required two digit number we can write now the required two digit number what it was assumed as 10 x plus y substitute the value of x here x is 2 plus y is 3 so 20 plus 3 that is 23 you can check out the answer what was our first condition product of the digits is 6 so 2 3 is a 6 second condition was what if 9 is added to this number so 23 plus 9 what is the answer 32 so 23 32 the number is in the number the digits are getting interchanged okay i hope this is clear to you See the next question. The numerator of a fraction is 2 less than the denominator. First condition. If 3 is added to each of the numerator and denominator, the fraction increases by 1 upon 18. Find the fraction. So let's talk about first part of the question. The numerator of a fraction is 2 less than the denominator okay numerator is smaller than the denominator so if i assume let the numerator of the fraction be x can you tell me what will be the denominator numerator is 2 less than the denominator means denominator in other words is greater then the numerator by 2. So denominator will be what? If numerator is x, denominator will be x plus 2. And what will be the fraction therefore? Fraction will be x upon x plus 2. Now what is important here to understand what kind of fraction it will be? Numerator is smaller than the denominator. So what kind of fraction it will be? It's going to be a proper fraction. So when we are finding the answer, we have to keep it in our mind that our answer should be a proper fraction. We are going to reject if it comes if sorry if it comes improper fraction. Now let's go for the second condition which will give us the equation. If 3 is added to each of the numerator and denominator, the fraction increases by 1 upon 18. Did you get it? When we are adding 3 to the numerator and denominator, we will be obtaining a new fraction. And what will be that new fraction? It will, the, it will be increasing. The original fraction will increase by 1 upon 18. So, let's first find the new fraction. Okay. How we to find new fraction? 3 is added to the numerator and denominator so according to the condition 
given. Numerator x increased by 3. Denominator x plus 2. This also if is increased by 3. This is the new fraction obtained. And if we do so, what happens to the original fraction which is x upon x plus 2? It will increase by 1 upon 18. I hope this part is pretty clear to you. This is importantly to be correct. Then only our further equations will be correct. I repeat again. 3 is added to each numerator and denominator. The fraction, original fraction, increases addition by 1 upon 18. And this gives us the equation to solve. x plus 3 upon x plus 2 plus 3, 5. Shift to simplify x plus 2 equals 1 upon 18. You might remember at the beginning of the lesson many equations we have solved of this pattern. So what is the first thing I am going to do here? Using brackets to avoid the mistake. I shall proceed with the LCM over here. LCM will be x plus 5 into x plus 2. Okay. So x plus 3 multiplied by what? x plus 2. Minus x multiplied by x plus 5 equals 1 upon 18. Simplify further x into x, x square. You can use the formula also 3 plus 2, 5x you will be getting over here plus 5x plus 6 minus x into x, x square minus 5 into x minus 5x upon x into x, x square, 5 plus 2, 7x plus 5, 2 is a 10. This is the formula I have used. You can directly also multiply. By, uh, I mean the multiplication of two binomials like that way. 1 upon 18. Plus minus x square gets cancelled. Plus 5x minus 5x also gets cancelled. You get here 6 upon x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 1 upon 18. Cross multiply 6 into 18 108 equals x square plus 7x plus 10. Write it into the standard form. So I would shift 108 that side and also the whole expression brought to the left hand side so x square plus 7x then plus 10 minus 108 what will be the answer minus 98 equal to 0 then what is the product here minus 98 and uh, difference difference is 7 so you may know this is a uh, 14 7 is a 98 and 14 and 7 is difference so our numbers are plus 14 and minus 7 use of tables then directly can we write the factors yes 14 into x minus 7 equals 0 this gives you x plus 14 equal to 0 or x minus 7 is equal to 0 that gives you x is equal to minus 14 or x is equal to 7 now look at x is equal to minus 14 I mentioned earlier that our fraction is going to be a proper fraction numerator is minus 14 right and denominator is plus 2 
then this numerator so if you take x is equal to minus 14 denominator will be minus 14 plus 2 that will give you what minus 12 so minus 14 and minus 12 which number is greater minus 12 okay and on simplifying but when you do then 14 upon 12 that will not be a proper fraction correct no 14 upon 12 when minus sign gets cancelled will not be a proper fraction it will come as 7 upon 6 which is an improper fraction so we will not be taking x x cannot be minus 14 i have explained you the reason the answer will not be a proper fraction okay this is to be done in your mind so you take x is equal to 7 so if x is equal to what was our numerator numerator is equal to x is equal to 7 therefore what will be the denominator denominator is equal to x plus 2 7 plus 2 that is 9 therefore what is the question is asking find the fraction so answer the required fraction is x upon x plus 2 was our required fraction so this is 7 upon 9 is our answer i hope you all are clear why minus 14 is being rejected over here once again you can check minus 14 upon minus 12 would have remained, would have not remained as a uh, proper fraction so we have rejected that value 7 is taken this is the answer okay